day 28 <laughs> of tiredness. All right. I didn't really vlog today because all I did, well, not all I did, I did a lot of great stuff. Um, I worked from 7 a.m. till 4. It was good. And then I came home after the gym. And uh, what happened next? Took care of some odds and ends while eating. Made some calls. It was great. And I just remember I need to text a seller. I got a Texas client because I've been following up with her for a long time. She said she was going to review a listing agreement last week. She didn't do it. I want to text her tomorrow. It's 8 p.m. I say, hey, touch and base. Where should we go from here? And leave it there. Leave it at that. None of this just checking in stuff, right? That's something I learned today, and that's something we focused on in our team. None of this, hey, I'm just checking in. Just checking in to see how you're doing. No, no. First and foremost, you're not just checking in, okay? Just checking in is an excuse. What are you really doing? What's your intention? Say, so you've got to, you got to f directly state your intention. And second to that, be impartial. You have to have that posture of um, neutral, neutrality, all right? Instead of saying, hey, I'm just checking in, say, hey, I followed up a few times since we first met. Where should we go from here? And leave it. Because it doesn't come off as desperate, doesn't come off as needy. Remember that when touching base with your prospects and clients. You can even do that with potential mates. No matter what in life, we're selling somebody something. Okay? So this applies to dating. No doubt. Another thing that we covered today. Smart goals. S-M-A-A-R-T. Now here's where we're going to implement a little call to action. If you want to know what a SMART goal is, S-M-A-A-R-T, that's different from the typical S-M-A-R-T goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timely. It's different than that. It's something I've never heard before. In all my years of goal setting, it's very interesting and eye-opening. If you're curious to know what in the world that is, drop me a comment. Send me a message. Send me a text message. My phone number is peppered all over the internet. I'd love to share it. I'd love to meet people. It's what I do for a living, meet people. And I went over that with the team. Exceptionally helpful for them as well. And the last thing I'm going to share with y'all before who knows what happens next. You just never know with these daily vlogs, all right? Side note, when you're vlogging every single day, it's like, what do I film, right? What do I film? Film... Who knows? You never know what you're going to get into. You also don't know when you're going to stop filming. Before you know it, it's 10.30 p.m. Time to close, turn the lights off. Last golden nugget for the day. Well, who knows? There might be more. You just never know. I just lost my train of thought. It was talking with the squad. Negotiations. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. Go for no. All right, when you're negotiating with somebody and you want to get something done, people feel like they're in power and in charge when they say the word no. It is their automatic intuition to say no. For example, hey, you need help with anything? No. I win. You lose. No. Hey, is there anything you're looking for in particular? No. You've been there. You walk into an apartment store and people say no. So, you know how it goes. How do you overcome that? Go for no. Let me give you an example. Um, I, no, I can't think of an example related to, to apartment stores, right? Just off the top of my head here. How about, so let's say you're going to ask somebody out on a date. Hey, would it be ridiculous to ask you out next Friday? No? Boom. Got yourself a date. Hey, would it be totally outrageous to... Have you put your phone number in my phone? No? Boom, you just got the phone number. Listen, in negotiations, it's not a foolproof plan. Even if you get 50% response in your favor, that's still a way better, way better track record than what you would have gotten if you didn't try. Think about if you just said, hey, can I have your number? No. Or, I got a boyfriend. Think about that. How many times could that be a no? Versus, 
hey, would it be ridiculous if, if you if I asked you to put your number in my phone? Oh, 50% 50, 50 is way better than what it could have been. Now, of course, this scenario doesn't apply for everybody. You get the point, though. So I'm going to ask you all to uh, consider this next time you are negotiating or are looking to achieve something and somebody else is involved. Go for no. And it takes practice and you've got to be vulnerable. Is it worth it? 100%.